it made 250 horsepower at the rear wheels um, and overall came back really healthy it's got an awesome power curve on it now comes up on boost straight away because of the small turbo and then it does it's got a nice wide top power band um, don't have a dyno sheet but I did see it down a shop uh, and yeah everything just came back real nice and healthy and ready to go it's tuned to 16 psi and it absolutely fucking loves it just laces up first and second and it, it's it's awesome to drive it's not it's not the most powerful thing but it is very quick so it i'm very happy with how it came out and yeah very happy very excited that i'm going to be driving it down at matsuri now and nothing nothing went wrong with the dyno day of uh, getting it dyno tuned sorry um the electronic boost controller was was bung so we put a manual boost controller in it and that set to 16 psi and yeah now it's just a matter of tidying up a few little things fortunately the hydro is still not locking up the rear wheels so the first thing i'm going to do is change out the pads and i have some new rotors for it as well and because the instrument cluster is no longer working I don't want to be cooking the car, beating up on it all day. Um, so I've gone out and I've also got myself an uh, aftermarket water temp gauge. So we're going to be installing that as well. So uh, we don't cook it, hopefully on the burnout pad as well, a bit later. Alright, so here we go. Cheap China gauge. It's fucking pretty junk, but got it quickly. Hopefully it works decent. We've got some RDA rotors here for the rear just because the slotted ones are pretty pretty thin they're probably fucked and we've also got red stuff pads which are um they're not a race pad they're more of a high-end street circuit pad so if we got this on and that on and it's still not locking up we're also going to be i'm going to be playing around with the adjustment of the hydro as well and if we can't get it to work then we know for sure that the cylinder is just too big and we may have to leave it because I doubt I'll be able to find one before Matsuri which is now only in three days all right so just taking a quick break for lunch so we're going to do a quick update what's going on got the oil being drained from the tow rig at the moment everything else is up to date so just a new oil and oil filter for that probably give it a wash as well get rid of all the mud and Salady vacuuming out the interior, seats clean. Actually, for the first time, it looks almost half presentable in here. Still a lot of rust and crap, but probably gonna leave that. Yeah, the interior's all been tidied out now from just the hours of work and just shit that I've just thrown absolutely everywhere. So we put seats back in, and that's pretty much it. Um, we got some gauges going on over this side now. Uh, I got rid of the Turbo Smart boost gauge and put in this Calibre, Calibre one because it's got a cup. So that's mounted there. We've got the the cheap China water temp gauge going on over there. Um, they're both wired up. If I had the keys in the ignition, I'd show you. First time I've ever wired up gauges, so I'm pretty happy that they both worked. Um, I think I did a pretty decent job there. And... For the temp sensor, instead of cutting into the hose, I went and picked up a GK Tech uh, water neck spacer and we've got the sensor in there. So that's just curing at the moment and then yeah, after they give it another hour or so, tighten up the bolts, put a bit of coolant back in it and we'll test it out, see how good it is. Um, and then it's just literally put the brakes on, the rear brakes, adjust up the hydro. And yeah, I think it's, I think it's good. I think it's good to go. Oh, there's still the quick release and a few other little thick bits and pieces I want to put on, but still, I might even have it finished, ready to go two days before the event. Not even going to be working on it at the event. That's, it's crazy. It's unheard of. So unlike me. All right, just took Silady for a drive got the quick release on and it did get a little too hot for my liking you know there 
It's sitting about 90 after it's been chilling for about 10 minutes. It was getting up to 110 on boost. And yeah, that's, even though it is a China gauge, don't know the reliability of it. Uh, 110 does sound about right, so yeah, we're gonna have to look into getting this thing cooler. Um, I've got the low temp thermostat I can put in. Pretty sure one of my mates has got a radiator, an alloy one he can chuck in. Um, I think Jake also said he had a, a better clutch fan, so we can put that in. And yeah, we'll just put in some better, better coolant than just the cheap, nasty stuff. So hopefully, a combination of all those things will bring it down to a much more um, comfortable temp range, and then we can just sit there and beat the fuck on it all day. Now I'm starting to stress, running out of time real quick. Old junk, good new stuff. Old junk, new stuff. It's literally pouring down with rain right now. It's two days till Matsuri. And I just don't have time for this shit. I've got stuff to do. Okay, now it's absolutely fucking piercing down. Like, uh, it is fucking piercing down. I really don't have time for this shit. I need a shed. All right, so we've got the brand, not brand new, actually new to me, alloy radiator, 52 mil, Godspeed. Picked up off Zahid. Uh, just done a quick test on it. He um, had it sitting outside for a while, so it doesn't look like it's leaking. Although, as you can tell, it is bananaed as fuck and covered in overspray. But apparently even the quality ones, uh, known to banana over time and here is our Nismo low temp thermostat 62 degree opening point put that in hopefully car runs a hell of a lot cooler we'll mix up a super strong batch of coolant and yeah so okay old thermostat out this one here 76.5 60 62, come on you slut. Alright, take my word for it. 76.5, 62. Clearly tell, two different types, which is good. Alright, I'm stressed man. I'm fucking, I'm stressed. This is just getting out of control. Alright, alloy rad went in, fan shroud broke. Alloy rad broke cut radiator hose to fit alloy rad now put stock rad back in no fan shroud no hoses I've got three fucking hoses and not one of them fucking fits <sighs> um, go to pick up trailer trailer doesn't suit my full drive and it's got the wrong pin set up the trailer needs a the full drive needs a drop 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 thing hitch Drop hitch. Yeah, drop hitch. And I don't have one. Um, so Andy being the legend he is, he's gonna tow my car down for me, but he's gonna be here at 6 30 tomorrow morning and I still have a fuckload of shit to do. Um, right now I've just finished cleaning up this copy G Ready Sump I had on one of my old cars. Um, we're gonna be jacking it up now drain the oil, putting this one on, and then yeah, just fucking packing everything in, getting everything done as quickly as possible. Fuck me, I'm so stressed. I need a cigarette. Alright, uh, what are we doing right now? Out here, 
pitch black. Got the sump on. It fucking sucked. I cannot believe how much China sumps suck. So that is just sitting there curing. Jake came through with a new hose. It's all bolted on. I'm gonna mix up some cooling in a sec. And then yeah, go to the servo, get some fuel, um, and start loading it up. You're gonna have to be up bright and early to tighten all the sump bolts, fill it up with oil, and get it running, make sure nothing's leaking, and give it hopefully a quick check over before Andy even gets here. Whole car's gotta be loaded up tonight. Everything's gotta be sorted tonight. And then, yeah, but it looks like, we might make it. Maybe.